It's Monday the 23rd of January and uh, welcome to the start of another busy work week. Um, just looking on Bricklink we've got 17 orders but some of these of course are uh, international backlog that need to be cleared and I'm really hoping that uh, Royal Mail put an announcement out today that these can start shipping um, but still lots to do um, besides the international uh, stuff as well so um going to be a busy morning and then on brick owl we've got 22 um so um again um plenty to do some of these are reasonable sort of um lot counts you know 50s 60s etc and uh then on ebay we have just got a couple uh to post out there so as usual monday morning uh we've done a little bit last night so we've got the first batch ready to go i'm just gonna get these all um put away so there's uh, a few orders here this was an interesting morning that people have just bought the uh, all the same type of brick in different colours and it's all a one by one with a single stud on the side. Uh, we've got some minifigure uh, uh, going out which uh, is Chewbacca and a few other things. Uh, more minifigures going out here um, and um, lots of uh, other sort of various bits and pieces of uh, parts but nothing you know nothing super exciting um i've got a lando uh, calrissian head going out couple of tuscan raiders going out on ebay nice to see these go this is 150 pink uh two by sixes uh but uh yeah that's the first batch anyway uh, i'm gonna get these all packed away and uh, get cracking with the next uh, larger batch Second batch of orders done, uh, but I'm in a real rush <clears throat> because I've got to get to the post office in about the next 30 minutes and I've still got to pack these and get them all uh, ready for shipping. Uh, quick flyover, um, just parts orders, so uh, nothing uh, super uh, interesting to talk about. Uh, a lot of pirate stuff going out there. Um, bulk order going off to the Shetland Isles and um this one was quite nice just because it gets rid of lots of these bulky parts in these uh unpopular colors so uh, they seem to buy lots of door frames and windows and uh these slopes as well uh did also get um another ebay order in so i've sold this uh john snow figure for 23 pounds and uh uh, pleased to, uh, to get that moved as well. So gonna rush get these packed up and uh, get to the depot So on the Saturday I had a day out with uh, the wife and um, We just went to a nice little country village a um, little bit of a drive from where we live um, but we just fancied going out somewhere different uh, somewhere we'd never been and to just have a little mooch around get a bit of lunch etc and funnily enough i ended up bumping into a few pieces of lego um and i uh, saw this in a collectibles shop and um they wanted eight pound for it and i thought for eight pound it was uh, well worth it with just um i think the reason they'd said it was eight pound was there's a missing claw um but I mean, you know, that's nothing. Um, so I thought the figures alone, the parts, if I break the set down, or may even leave the set as it is and, uh, you know, keep it, give it to the grandkids. I don't know. But I thought for £8, I couldn't walk past it. Um, I also saw this in a little uh, local toy shop and they wanted £20 for it. And there are some good figures in here and a few uh, newish parts that uh, uh, I thought would be worth adding to the store maybe. So I thought I'd pick those up. And also they had some collectible uh, minifigures and I've not bought any of the boxes of the recent uh, few series. Um, there just seems to be a lot of people uh, jumping on them these days and I just didn't bother to be honest. 
Uh, now I know there are a few good figures in this particular set, so had a, a little feel and uh, hopefully I've managed to get a couple of falcons and an orc and maybe a spaceman or two as well. So we'll get these opened and I'll let you know what we found. So I've just opened them and checked uh, the packets to see what we've got. And the way I do it is I just put a little slit in the back of the packet large enough so I can see um, at least one part in there that I can identify um, you know the figure from and what I can tell you is I picked up six packets and I managed to get uh, two of the uh, falcons uh, two of the orcs one of the spacemen and one of this little character don't know how I managed to get him but um, obviously uh, feeling was a little bit suspect on him in particular but that's fine um hopefully um you know we'll uh we'll get these sold quite easily i think the uh the uh falconer is uh an easy one to sell as is the brown spaceman and uh and the orc i think they're all good uh saleable figures so um i'll go and get those listed now it's Tuesday the 24th of January and I'm starting to get really, really fed up with Royal Mail. Um, they just, you know, they just don't seem to understand how much um, this issue is hurting businesses. Uh, and, you know, that includes big business, not just um, small businesses like myself. Um, they're still asking uh, people not to submit parcels for export. And when I say asking, um, there really isn't a way for you to send it even if you wanted to. Because yesterday on Click and Drop, I uh, I attempted uh, to send a parcel just to see what would happen. I, mean, I wasn't actually necessarily going to send it, but I wanted to apply the postage. And in this case, it was an order going to Australia. And it wouldn't even let me pick a service to uh, send it by, you know, st uh, standard international tract, etc. It just wouldn't let me do anything within click and drop. So they are actually preventing us from even, you know, attempting to send them. Uh, every day I keep hoping uh, for an update that says um, we can we can start shipping and my orders are, are really, um, you know, starting to stack up in terms of international stuff. Um, still got about seven or so here on Bricklink for today from the UK, um, but the rest are, are, are waiting to be shipped. And a very similar story over here on Brick Owl. Uh, with uh, about four uh, UK orders today. Um, so God, I'm going to have to communicate again to people and just say that, you know, we we are still unable to uh, ship. I've also got two orders on Bricklink uh, waiting to be invoiced, both for America. Um, and I'm just worried about, you know, losing the money that's, in effect in the bank at the moment um with some of these so um anyway it's out of my control can't do much about it just need to crack on so um i'm gonna um, move on and get this morning's orders picked this morning's orders are all picked and ready to be packed and sent off to the depot uh, we've got a mix of just all sorts going on. There are a couple of international ones I've picked here uh, just because people have said that they are happy to uh, wait as long as it takes. So I've picked them. Obviously, I can't ship them today, but there's a few here going off, a couple going off to Australia, one to the US, uh, just to kind of get on top because... You know, I've got so many international ones waiting in backlog now that I, I don't want to wait until Royal Mail announce that they're ready and then me have a ton of uh, picking to do. Uh, green uh, base plate going out. Um, this one's for an order. Someone contacted me yesterday and asked if I'd be willing to double check each of these heads uh, to make sure that they're all perfect. He didn't want any scratches and and i was willing to oblige to be honest um 
but I had, I think I had 119 of these in stock and uh, they were the cheapest on uh, on Bricklink by far. So um, uh, looking at the prices, actually, I might need to put my price up for them, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, this one was actually picked yesterday and I had a bit of a shortfall. So I was waiting for someone to confirm that they were all okay for me to send that. And that one was the one that was going off to the Shetland Isles. And uh, here uh, we've got an order here that someone has just bought lots and lots of windows, um, glass for windows, shutters, uh, and all sorts of stuff. So a decent size order there. Got a skeleton going out. And then a few small orders over here. Always nice to see coral uh, going out because it's not a color that uh, sells well, as I'm sure you all know. Uh, so lots to uh, do once I've got those packed away. Um, I've been working through the used stuff. Uh, so I've sorted out some used 1x4 plates to go away here. Uh, we've got a few more containers here that we're going to be working through next. These are uh, 1x6s, 1x8s, 1x2s. So I'm going to get those away first. Just really so I can get all of those drawers back to the container. You'll see over there I've got a few piles of empty um, drawers that I need to do something with and then uh, I've got the leftovers here from one of the orange containers that I need to do and we've got another drawer here of one by plates to put away as well so place is looking a lot messier than it did at Christmas so I need to get on top of this and get some of it put away and uh, I'll be focusing on that the rest of the morning Quick shout out to Sean from Southwest Bricks UK, who's uh, just donated on Coffee and says just a small token of appreciation for what you share and teach. So uh, thanks very much, Sean. It's uh, really much appreciated. Uh, currently, I am sorting through some more uh, used parts um, at the moment, going through these four by four dishes. I've uh, been adding. Uh, more stuff from the uh, brick pickers stock and especially from the orange containers uh, so still uh, you know keeping this uh, worksheet going we've got the one by ones uh, one by four plates and then some other uh, random assortment of uh, parts from uh, the latest of the orange boxes uh, plenty more to do. Um, still got all of those plates that I showed earlier to sort and uh, then we'll probably move on to uh, one of the orange boxes and uh, see what else we can get uploaded. I have um, since starting to upload, I don't know if, if this is the, the exact reason, but I seem to be noticing an increase in orders. Now, it could have been that people have just been paid at the weekend, um, but I also wonder how much of it is related to the, you know, obviously uploading new stock triggers and tends to trigger sales, but also I think growing the lot count is, is hopefully um, attributing to that as well. And hopefully that continues to uh, rise upwards as I continue to add more and more lots. So I've just finished sorting and listing the one by two used plates and I decided that rather than trying to put them in the racking over here, um, there's enough uh, that I'm going to fill the drawer and keep all of the one by two plates together like this. So even though I realise I'm not, um, you know, utilising some of the space as, as best I could. I figured that once I get to the used bulk, um, you know, these are going to be a constant and they're going to hopefully um, fill up even. So um, that's the plan anyway. Uh, so they are going to be sitting in this area over here. And I've already put some other uh, used things over here. So we've got some used plates and we've got some used one by one bricks, etc. And so they should fit in well over there. Um, now, I have also started to use uh, these, so I need to get them numbered. I've used the first row up there, and the reason I did that 
um, was purely because of the size of the drawer. So the items that are in those drawers wouldn't fit into a single drawer of this type over here. And I didn't want to start putting uh, items into random drawers just yet, um, which I could have done. I could have moved those parts into drawers like this and started filling them up. But these drawers were a perfect size for the sort of quantities that we uh, had in the drawer up, up there. I don't think you can see them too clearly. Uh, so I thought I might as well fill them up. So I need to really get these two sections uh, numbered up pretty quickly. Now I'm just gonna follow on with the numbering where I finish at this end. So this end over here finishes at um, 1800. So I'm just gonna move over to here and continue with 1801 and uh, go uh, across with the numbering that way. So that's the plan anyway. We'll see how that works out. Numbering is one of those things that I absolutely hate doing. Um, it just feels like a, a, a waste of time. I know it has to be done as part of the job, um, but it's just something I really don't like doing. Um, but anyway, gonna get this one put away. Next up, which will probably be tomorrow now, will be these uh, one by plates, uh, which I need to sort out. And I'll probably do the same thing. I'll probably look to filling one of these drawers, even though it might seem a little bit of overkill at the moment. So I've just done a little upload, which has added 127 lots uh, to the store. And that has meant that I've hit 12,000 lots, which I'm really pleased about because um, I was only at, I don't know, 11,000 or, or so um, just a couple of weeks ago. So I've, I've managed to increase the lot count up by a thousand in probably a couple of weeks, I think. Um, so really pleased with that. I'm uh, going to keep pressing on and uh, hopefully can get that up uh, a lot higher and um, we'll uh, see how quickly we can get to 13,000. It's a quiet start to Wednesday with just four orders in uh, for this morning. Uh, we've got an order here for over 600 of these uh, one by two medium azure bricks. We have got uh, 120 odd of these uh, black jumper plates. And we've got two of these metallic uh, gold chrome um, dishes, which I think are a couple of pounds each uh, from memory. Uh, the others are just uh, basic parts orders uh, ready to go out. Now, I'm still frustrated by Royal Mail who still haven't fixed their problem. They're still preventing you from creating uh, shipping to international destinations. And I'm starting to get people who are, you know, rightly frustrated by this and, and are thinking of canceling their orders, which is really frustrating to, uh, you know, start losing money, etc., because of uh, Royal Mail's ineptitude. And uh, it just... <sighs> It just doesn't cease to amaze me um, how bad this situation is. You have to remember that, you know, uh, it's not just individuals like me, as far as I'm aware. It's every single business in the UK, no matter how big or small, cannot send to international destinations. I mean, that's just incredible to me. Um, anyway, nothing I can do about it, so I just need to press on. Um, so first job this morning, I want to get these uh, couple of trays uh, sorted and listed uh, just because they're making a mess on the desk here. And then um, that does it for most of these uh, trays that I brought back um, at the end of uh, last week. Uh, so I need to probably get to the container again and swap these out and get some more stuff. Although, of course, I've got lots to do with the orange containers here as well. Um, so got to crack on, see what else I can find to do this morning and, uh, see what we can get uploaded to the store. It's Thursday, the 26th of January. And, um, for those who missed it, I did my first ever live stream last night. 
and um, it was kind of unintentional because I was just trying out the software and um, needed to, you know, to test it going live and didn't really expect anyone um, to, to kind of pop on necessarily. Um, but before I knew it, um, there was a bunch of people joining the live stream. And I think in the end, we had about 60 people watching and uh, a couple of nice super thanks um, to uh, 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 from a couple of uh, watchers of the channel, uh, which were very much uh, appreciated and uh, seemed to go pretty, pretty well. Um, it is available uh, to see on uh, my channel now, um, it seems at least. Uh, unfortunately, um, the comments don't seem to be showing, so I need to figure out uh, how I um, integrate the uh, comments so that they show as if they were playing in real time with the video. I think that's always nice for people to see, but um, I'll figure it all out. Um, lighting could be better, um, possibly, on, on some of these, and uh, we'll try and improve as we go. I don't have a lot of uh, space at my desk to uh, set things up, which is a little bit of a, a problem, but we'll try and improve on these in the future if people are interested in them. But um, it seemed to be pretty um, uh, well received and uh, people seem to enjoy it. And it was nice to, to chat with people and, um, you know, share some, some views on, on some topics, etc. Um, anyway, back to uh, this morning and um, we've got, really hard to see what you've got to be honest at, at the moment with all of the backlog of internationals. We've only got about three um, UK orders uh, on here and a similar amount on Brickow. Um, um, now, in terms of um, international um, Royal Mail, they have opened up a few more services um, for international shipping, um, but um, they're very restricted and they, ha they haven't, despite what it says here, um, they haven't opened up international standard shipping. Um, they've only opened up um, track, uh, not track, sorry, um, international signed for and i think i noticed for the us i could send tracked and signed um now that will mean that i can get a few items out at least where people requested tracking or where uh because of value etc i want to maybe pay for tracking myself um but i'm still gonna have to hold back on some of the uh the orders so um anyway gonna crack on get uh, this morning's orders picked and um i'll continue to uh do some uploading i've got a few uh pots of figures and things on my desk here from last night's sort um which i need to go through a second time just to um pick some things out it's uh, a little difficult when live streaming to um you know um be as organized as you'd like to be and get them <clears throat> into uh, specific pots, etc. Um, but I don't think these are going to take long to sort. Thursday's orders are picked and packed, ready to go. Um, a real mix of stuff today uh, with a lot of uh, minifigs and minifig parts. Um, and the biggest order of the day is uh, this one over here. Uh, which is really all minifigs and minifig parts, um, including 26 of these. And they've just bought loads of minifig parts in bulk. Um, 11 of these uh, minifigs and uh, about £150 worth. Uh, and uh, they also bought a limited edition uh, Star Wars poster, uh, of which I've got quite a few of those um that came uh in the store acquisition and uh that one uh by the way if i didn't say is going to uh the states and the reason it's uh able to go today is because they uh, are now allowing tracked parcels to go tracked and signed that is so a little bit more expensive but uh, it can go 
as can this one which is another uh watcher of the channel who's uh i think rebuilding the uh, old fishing store so he'll be pleased to uh, see this one getting dispatched as well uh which is good and um we'll be able to get these out today and hopefully they won't take too long i know royal mail are saying that things are going to take slightly longer possibly um but at least it'll be on its way and uh, hopefully with you all soon i'm just picking what's going to be the last order for today um it's only a small order so it won't take long at all uh 1068 um it's uh it's been a busy day for long enough um not that I, I feel like i've got all that much done um but uh i have managed to uh sort out another draw with one by one plates uh which is good um it's another case of you know where they they don't um they don't uh, take up an awful lot of space and they certainly don't fill those compartments but i still think it's worth using the drawers at least at the moment um oh, five of these um at least at the moment while um i don't need them for much else it's funny that you see the difference in the color of the blue in there so i'm just going to see if i can't find another one and try and keep them all the same colour and take that one out which looks a little more sort of purpley blue almost um, so uh, there's five of those and then 1792 I want five green ones you see why I don't do this on camera too often. Trying to talk and count and uh, pick all at the same time can be a little bit awkward. I don't know how others uh, do it, but they do it uh, much better than I do. So it's an easy, uh, easy one to pick. I'm going to get the post uh, off uh, shortly. Uh, as I say, I'll get this packed in a minute and uh, ready for the post office granddaughter coming for a sleepover tonight so we've got plenty of jobs to do and then i might just uh try and have a rummage through some of these pots that i pulled out last night uh, the remainder are on my very messy desk over there and uh, maybe just have a little sort through there's some uh funny stuff in here i've not seen before a little basketball by the look of it uh more shields the shields are always uh worth a bit of money as i mentioned probably last night uh there's a forestman's hat which i think i might need myself actually uh can't remember if it's a green one or a brown one i need uh but anyway gonna have a, a look through uh those as well and uh probably gonna do me for today to be honest it's Friday the 27th and I've got to be carried away today because I completely forgot to video the uh, orders for this morning and um, not an awful lot to shout about anyway um, mostly just you know typical parts orders and a few minifigs uh, I have chosen to upgrade an order that's going out to the USA um, at my cost uh, upgrading it up to tracked and signed um, because it was getting to a point where the the uh, the customer was going to cancel the order, and it was it was worth paying an extra fiver for the postage rather than losing the order. Um, now, yesterday I was in my local Sainsbury's and uh, picked up some of these. These were thirteen pound fifty, um, so not a bad price. Um, not super. Um, great set um but these figures uh, seem to sell well rhino and the hulk and i've been selling rhino for about 10 pounds so um we'll make our money back on those no doubt um need to get tidied up a bit because i've got stuff left over from uh, the bit of sorting i was doing uh, the other day i haven't really got to any point where uh, there's anything to really uh, list here and 
I want to try and get back to the container and get all of these empty drawers back that I uh, managed to empty and get listed. I have still got a couple of drawers that I've condensed, uh, which are mainly sort of weapons and things and other accessories, a few capes and things. And then I've got this drawer, which are all sort of uh, flowers and things in, uh, in bulk. So I'm probably going to get these added and... Uh, counted out next because uh, there'll be a five minute job and uh, maybe try and get to the container pick up a few more drawers although as I've said previously you've still got these orange ones to uh, tackle still and um, uh, we'll just see what else we can find to do for today just received another small uh, bonus order for today and it's from a watcher of the channel uh, who says hi Keith just a small order to complete a set. Love your YouTube videos. Keep up the good work and cheers. So, um, th yeah, thanks for the order. Um, doesn't matter what the size is, big, small. Uh, they're all uh, welcome. We've had a couple of extra orders in this morning. And I don't always shout out, you know, everyone who leaves a message. I've had a few other messages this week. And apologies if I've not necessarily uh, read those out. Um, I did want to just mention um, to you all as well that I've now put my um, profitability tracker, um, expense tracker, whatever you want to call it, um, up on my coffee page. Um, I, I got some requests from people who wanted to get a hold of it and were willing to, um, you know, give us a, a, a little bit of uh, money for the benefit of, of getting that. So I've put it up on the page. Uh, there is a link uh, below in this video um, to uh, the Profitability Tracker if you're interested in that. Now, it's a Excel spreadsheet um, in the uh, Excel SX format um, you'll see down here. So you will need um, either Excel or another tool um, that can read uh, these Excel files to use it. Um, but hopefully, um, you know, th those things are, are pretty commonplace. I think most people have a, a copy of Microsoft Office or something similar that uh, can, uh, you know, read uh, spreadsheets. So um, I hope you find it useful. Um, if you do, let me know. And if you think it would benefit from any changes, uh, let me know that too. So we're back at the container again and I've uh, brought all of these drawers back uh, so that I can get them and put away. Um, all of these in here are all empty now at the top. So, um, and then I'm gonna pick another bunch to take back, I think, and uh, see what else I can pick up. Not sure whether to take any um, of these new sets. My new drawers, are really getting down on uh, currently I've got an awful lot of empty uh, drawers uh, and I'm just wondering about taking some of this stuff back to get parted out and uh, to put away as new so I might grab some of that as well um, but I think the main thing for me is to work on getting more of these emptied so I can decide what I'm going to do and move some of them on and create some more space so that's what i'm going to be doing so i'm back from the container and i've brought two of these black boxes uh filled with drawers um so i just thought i'd show you uh, what i've brought back it's not an enormous amount because um to be honest i don't want loads of these trays sat around once i empty them and i know that um people have suggested in the past and i've talked about it as well um taking bags to the container emptying them in, the drawers into bags and then just bringing the bags back and then i can dispose of the bags that's a great idea um the issue i had here you know is i only had like 10 minutes to run in uh, and swap things over uh, we've got a lot going on at the moment my daughter-in-law's just gone in for a, a major op uh today so um we're just uh you know coordinate and a few other things um but um as you can see uh lots of things uh being brought back um one by two uh tiles here one by plates we've got some round plates 
there and those in the bottom were already in the uh in the box there and those are new i believe and then over here we've got uh two by three plates two by two plates um then this is going to be a little awkward to do i don't want to spill these all over we've got one by plates and we've got one draw of those two drawers of those we got some one by bricks and these were actually in three different drawers and i ended up just tipping them into a single drawer and then i found this drawer which is uh, all tiles from the um, video sets and these are all new um, i'm sure so um i need to get those listed as well so i'm going to concentrate on getting these emptied out uh hopefully they won't take uh too long i'm certainly not going to get them done today uh, or not all of them anyway but I'll, I'll get some of them done and um it's going to add some quantity to the, to the store as well as some uh variety and uh we'll see what we can get added so we've got a slight change of plan because i found a drawer here that uh, i hadn't emptied yet i didn't know i hadn't emptied it um but the problem is that I'm starting to fill these drawers now with used parts. So um, before I can start adding these parts and putting them away, I really need to get this drawer emptied and uh, uploaded and then I can utilize this drawer. So this is going to be the next job, which is a bit of a shame because you can see why I've left it because the parts aren't particularly interesting or fast sellers or anything, but hopefully these won't take too long to add and then we can crack on with the rest of these parts. So I've just finished sorting and adding all of these round plates to this drawer. These are all used and um, I'm probably surprised that um, Rick Pickers had this many used organized because to, to me, you know, the, the round plates are one of the worst things in the world to be uh, picking out and, and organizing when you're going through all of your small parts. So I think he did a, a good job of uh, collecting all of these. And I said earlier that I thought that uh, this was gonna add some uh, quantity to the store. And I can tell you that it's gonna add nine and a half thousand items uh, to the store. Not many lots, uh, 29. Although most of them will be new lots, I think, because I didn't really have many uh, second-hand uh, round plates. Uh, so there will still be new lots out of this. Uh, but more importantly, it's going to increase the overall of it inventory by almost um, 10,000 parts. And that is without um, other stuff that I've got listed in a separate file here. So... Here's where we had uh, the uh, flowers and uh, some plant things and um, some plates that I cleared out of that uh, that new drawer that I had earlier. So that's another 3,000 parts. So uh, all in all, um, almost 13,000 parts I'm going to add to the store shortly. And I think that's a good afternoon's work. So after the upload of uh, those parts, we're now at our highest ever inventory count, which is 667,220 in 12,083 lots. Um, and that's great. That's the highest we've been. But of course, what that does mean is that um, the catalogued uh, brick pickers inventory is going down. So we've now got... Um, just 135,000 items to add to the store. Um, so um, we'll get them added, um, you know, over the coming weeks uh, and months. And uh, no idea how long that's going to take, if I'm honest. But there's still plenty of stuff that is uh, not catalogued. Um, so that's both in terms of uh, new sets and, uh, of course, obviously... Uh, the big thing is the bulk when we get to it, 
which is uh, where things are, are going to get interesting. So a uh, lot still to do. Uh, we're gradually whittling this um, this brick pickers list down. Started um, at around six hundred and fifty thousand parts. So we've added um, over five hundred thousand parts um, to uh, the um, to to the brick arena inventory. So um, yeah, long may that continue. Um, we're managing to keep the inventory uh, fairly high as well. Um, despite orders going out, uh, the inventory is uh, increasing nicely. Mm -hmm. 